welcome friends to my youtube channel today we will see an excel program based on macros made with the help of macros this program helps us to record check-in data as well as check out data of a hotel or a lodge and lastly it helps us to take a printout of the invoice when a customer checks out of the hotel his uh, invoice would be generated it can be printed and a pdf can also be made so first of all let's see how this program works thereafter we will see how it is made meanwhile i request uh, my viewers to subscribe to my youtube channel and visit my excel program my website excelprograms.in let's go and see the two user forms the first user form is created to get the data of a person of a customer who checks in this data is taken taken while the customer checks into the hotel this this data is uh, uh, taken from the customer when he checks out of the hotel and final bill is made let's go and open this check-in user form so registration number one is shown which means uh, the data the database is nil that's why number one is shown if there are five records there number six will be shown here so we go and allot a room number some room number guest name mr guest number one his address is so and so what is his city so and so his mobile number is so and so his email id is so and so and does he have a gstn number let's write no nil and hutchinson code is so and so then a guest uh, staying at a hotel is supposed to give identity to the hotel at the time of his uh, at the time of checking in so his identity is uh, xxx number of persons who are going to stay are two the tariff in this hotel is 7000 let us suppose uh, for which the relevant GST is 18% and advance which has paid uh, uh, to the hotel advance paid to the hotel is 15,000 let's suppose and the customer and the guest is going to stay in the hotel for an approximate period of uh, let's say two days enter enter this data now is recorded in check-in data sheet let's go and see registration number one room number so and so date name of the guest is guest number one is address is so and so city mobile what is the identity proof he has given what time he has checked in what date he has checked in how much advanced he has paid what is the tariff what is the gst how many days he is going to stay all this data is captured initially while uh, the guest is checking into the hotel now let's see at the time of checking out of this hotel 
we have to just press the registration number of the particular guest registration number at the time of checking in so one this is one for our guest number one let's suppose this bill is 101 or 102 whatever it is uh, then all the data which we had given which the guest number one has given at the time of checking into the hotel the same data comes here appears here against this registration number what time he has entered let us suppose he stayed for two days we'll put 15 here then number of persons two seven thousand is a tariff fifteen thousand is the advance which we had given earlier while well, at the time of checking in and let's suppose he stayed for two days the telephone calls he made from the hotel zero SGST, CGST is this much and other charges let us suppose 350 so total charges for two days to stay in this hotel is 16,870 16,870 since the customer has paid 15,000 rupees in advance he has now to pay 1870 balance amount he can he has the option to pay either through card or through cash supposing if he is paying through his card 1870 rupees then we can go ahead and click on submit supposing if he wishes to pay by cash then we'll put zero here the moment we put zero here the moment we put zero here this 1870 will shift to cash box see now this 15,000 advance and this 1870 now will settle the bill see since uh, there, uh, I have not uh, attached a printer here I'll show you how the bill looks uh, like uh, in a PDF form let's go to this my invoices this is where I have generated a PDF view hide tools pane I'm hiding this pane this is the the hotel name of the hotel will come here this address will come here gstn will come here mobile and website names will come here name of the guest is address mobile as we have given uh, in check-in details all those things will appear here uh, customer gstn date what date he has checked in what date he has checked out what time and uh, he has checked in and checked out what amount of advance he has paid, how much is the tariff, all these details are printed here. So the customer, the final bill is 16,870 minus 15,000 advance, 1870 is payable now. 1870 is payable, in fact, it is paid now. 16,870. The bill amount has come in words also this is how the printout of the bill will look like okay let's go back to our program so here this is the check-in data which we had collected this is the checkout data which we had collected and we could print out we could take a printout of the bill in PDF form we could create a the bill in PDF form this is how the program works let's see how it is made Uh, let's go to developer we have two user forms here I have created two user forms 
the first one for check in second one is for checking out let's go and see here this is nothing but a label a label how do you create a label go to this place this is label click on this click anywhere see this is created label 43 label 43 go to caption you want to give some name hotel hotel name here see this has come here if you want to increase the font go to font increase it like this make it bold change the font etc you can all then you can change the color see it has come in red now this way you can change create you can create and change labels this is a label all these are all these are labels all these are labels except one this one is a combo box you need a combo box when you have uh, when, when you are when you are required to choose one among uh, a number of values a number of given values so these these are all uh, labels and these are your command buttons command buttons are important to run the program see let's go and see what we have written in this command button starting with the small things in clear the moment i uh, write something see how it works let's first see how it works suppose i have customer uh, guest number 2 has come we have allotted him 301 his name is guest number 2 with some address then we want to clear this data we want to do it afresh so we click on clear we can start afresh so now how does this work how does this clear clear when we click on clear this code will be executed what is it so text box 14 will keep the date data data and all the uh, see text box 8 dot value is equal to uh, double quotations twice it means blank keep this value blank keep this text box blank keep this blank keep this blank and finally text box 8 set focus let's see see this is text box 8 focus it is uh, focus is given here so this is what our clear button does now cancel the moment you click on cancel see how it works i'm clicking on cancel the moment you click on cancel you have to start from here to see the effect cancel it goes back to menu sheet it got back goes back to menu sheet let's see so what else does it do the moment you click on cancel button the first code line is unload me the second line is go to menu sheet and activate menu sheet wherever you are you you are you go and activate it then if uh, when after activating menu sheet it will uh, make a full screen is equal to true and the last code line under this uh, clear button is a1 is selected why do we need to do this because when we go back i'll show it from here see one second supposing supposing our sheet main sheet our menu sheet looks like this hmm and control b for booking we do control b from here so if i click on cancel see it was 
it was at this stage when we clicked B, but we came back, it was like this, only because we said range A1 dot select. So while coming back to this sheet, you will see this left corner. Otherwise, it doesn't look like nice when it when it comes back to this sheet, and this this sheet looks like this. It doesn't look good. So I said range a one dot select. Next, the main command button is submit. Submit. I am sending the data not to one sheet but to two sheets. That's why I said. WS3, dim WS3 as worksheet, number one. Here, uh, there is another sheet, C note printing, where data is being sent. First, uh, it is sent to check-in page, see. Check-in data, not page, sorry. Check-in data. In this uh, sheet, we send the data from the user form. This one here means column information in column one. This is column two, this is column three. Here, what does this mean? Means WS3 is what? WS3 is check-in data. In this sheet, the first blank row, the first column of the blank row will be occupied by the value which you have in text box 35. Similarly, second column would be occupied by the value you find in text box 8. Similarly, 18th, the value in 30, text box 36 will go to 18th column, 18th column in this field. Next, uh, for the for, cust uh, for guest number three, if you repeat this process, then this will take, then this next row will take it to the third row. Another another customer will, will come in the fourth row. The next customer will come in the fifth row. So this is the next row. This is responsible for that. The same data is sent to C note also so that we can uh, take a printout while the customer is checking into the hotel. After boxes, uh, after the boxes are, uh, are transferred, the data is transferred to the sheets, we need to clear the boxes. All these boxes need to be cleared and focus is again set on uh, text box eight. That's it. <clears throat> Go to this sheet, this uh, user form, when you say user form one, you automatically get the data with the help of VLOOKUP. So bill number, some bill number. So all these data we received from the earlier uh, sheet. So two, zero, we said 350 or so, so see. This way, this way we submitted, we, we clicked on submit, a PDF was created. If there is a printer attached, directly you will get a uh, printout of the bill. You can sign it. The customer will also sign it. You can take the advance. This way, the program runs. So, So friends, I hope you have enjoyed this program. Uh, I request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks very much.